How you guys doing? How you boys doing? I've had a haircut. Looking clean, looking fresh, looking wide. I went looking good, feeling good. I guess then. Yeah, I, I was, I was kind of like, yeah, fuck it. I want to stream. I want to do a little, little, little short stream, if you will. Yo, we got a hype train. Yo, let's get me all the way to top 100. You know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> Yo, hype train. Yo, this is so sad. <laughs> Imagine not being in the top 1,000. Fuck, man. Why are you gonna do me like that? Why are you gonna do me like that? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You just finished a new vid? Thank you. Thank you. You got YouTube? Yeah, well, that's the thing. Is that I well, well, so, well so, okay. First of all, I thought it was like weird, right? Because like people were like, oh man, sad to see Connor not in the top 1000. I'm like, bro, isn't that still like a, isn't that like a lot though? <laughs> I was like, I was shocked when I saw it. I was like, oh god, people are gonna kill me. I was like, <laughs> I because money's always one of those things that you're like, you're always like, uh, you you always feel ashamed of talking about because you've been taught to, right? Yeah, yeah. You're in my top five. Oh shit, get out, get out, get out of, get out of here, you. XQC's making those banks. Yeah, but like. To me, oh, okay, okay, are we gonna talk about that? I guess we'll make, fuck it, we'll just talk about that on stream then today. <laughs> it's a really interesting concept, right? And one that like seems fucking stupid. Like when you watch XQC, you don't think, ah oh, yeah, this should, this should be a million dollars a month. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, I'm oh, sorry, thank you for the 95, uh, 95, thank you for the 20 subs. You know, you know what I mean? When you watch stuff like that, when you watch Twitch streamers, I understand. I get it. Because when I see it, I'm like, yo, whoa. That's a lot. But then also, it's weird, man. I don't know. How do you guys... Okay. Wait, how do you guys feel about it? I want to know your guys' opinion. I have my opinions on it. I knew how much everyone was making. <laughs> it was no surprise to me. <laughs> what do you guys think? When you're at that level, you don't even need to try. Well, yeah, I mean, it's up to you, you know? Some people, it's up to whoever, right? Like some people get to, get to like 50K a year and they're like, I'm done. I don't need to do anything else. I don't give a shit. That's fine by me. But some people see they, they're they making like a million a year and then they see another Twitch streamer is making 2 million a year and they're like, no, no, I, I that needs to be me. <laughs> yeah but it's weird because i don't i never even i'll be totally honest with you guys i i didn't know how much i'd made on twitch so that was nice for me to know i was like oh that's very very informative i had no idea i i, I checked and it was accurate i was like oh yeah it's, it's pretty close because I, I don't check it i because i i <laughs> Yeah, okay, you guys, all right, you guys have seen me leak it, right? You guys have seen me leak my YouTube stuff, right? I make, I make, I'll be honest with you guys, and you can probably figure it out. I make more on YouTube than I do on Twitch, right? And so, like, like I've said before on Twitch, right? And, and, like, everything. After you make more than, like, 5K, unless you're, like, buying stupid shit, it literally doesn't make a difference. You're just, like, the only, the only fucking difference is that you have to figure out what the fuck to do with it. <laughs> Privileged speaking. I know, dude. That's why it sucks talking about it, man. I love... I, I, You know, in general, I think that when I have uh, content creators, um, when I have friends that I talk to who are, like, new, I always, like, talk to them about it. And I always, like... I always ask them how much they're getting for deals and stuff because I want to make sure they're not getting ripped off. Um, because more often than not, newer creators are... Uh, you, it's it's like you get fucked over by a lot of companies and deals so i'm i'm, all, I'm always encouraging creators to be open with each other however it's very however it's very different when you talk about it publicly right it's it's a, it's a topic that people don't like to talk about right and it makes a lot of people uncomfortable me included honestly because you have to bear in mind right the way i see it is that i imagine if i was like if i was like in med school right 
if I was in med school and I worked seven years and then I was finally making like 80k, I would probably feel like I deserve that. You know what I mean? And I think everyone would agree that they deserve that or something. I don't know how much doctors make. I assume it's like around that. I don't know how much the starting salary is for a doctor. Maybe it's 120. I don't, I don't fucking know. But it's nothing like, it's nothing like fuck, fuck you money, right? We're not talking like, we're not talking like a million plus a year, unless you're doing some crazy like some surgery or whatever. I, I don't know. But you know, you probably feel like you deserve it. The, the, the thing is with YouTube, at least for me personally, I can't comment about everyone, but I know me and a lot of other people have this. Again, I'm not saying everyone because there are plenty of YouTubers who uh, completely love their money. Um, but it's weird going like, because when, you, when, you, when you're doing well as a YouTuber, it's kind of like fast. It's very fast. And Twitch as well, I think more so. Twitch is faster than YouTube, I think. So like it can, it can like change really fast. And then it just, you just, but like your, your lifestyle doesn't change. You know what I mean? So like, I can't change my lifestyle drastically in a year, no matter how much money I get. Cause I'm just, cause your brain needs time to adjust. So even if you get more money, you don't think that you have more money. You know what I mean? Let's say you go from making 2000. So, okay. Real case for me. I think when I moved to London, I think I was, I've said this before. I was making about 1500 before tax. Uh, but I wasn't getting taxed that much because I was making nothing. Um, but then going from 1500 to five in any normal circumstance in life is like, is like crazy. That's a lot, right? To go from $1,500 a month to 5,000. That's crazy. But like my, my, my way of living didn't change at all. I feel like that doesn't, it's weird. I don't know. It's very strange. I don't know how to describe it. It takes time for you to adjust, at least for normal people. You know, there are some YouTubers out there, and this normally happens when you're surrounded by other rich people. When you're surrounded by other rich people, and, and you see how rich they are, you definitely think that you should be living like they do, because that's just, that's what happens. So I think that that's why you see like LA YouTubers spend like stupid money. But to me, I, I, I just, I can't, I can't do that. Like, I'd love to buy a Tesla, but also I'm like, fuck, that's a, that's a depreciating asset and I don't need a car right now, realistically, you know, and like, fuck, like really the insurance. And, and generally it's just quite a hassle to deal with. Like I've got to, I've got to handle that, right? 5K before tax, yeah, yeah, 5K before tax. But even then, right? Like, <clears throat> so I, I always remember this thing. When I was living in the UK, I remember there was one thing where the government was like, re a government recommendation was that you should spend like one third of your income on housing. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And for the most part, I was. But then what happens when you're like living in a place that you just moved into and then your income goes up and you're like, oh, wait, what? Like, wait, should I? Oh, I shouldn't spend more. I'm fine, I'm fine living where I am though. But then, then it gets to the point where you just like live where you want, I guess. I don't know. It's strange. Sorry, I'm ranting. I'm, I'm ranting. <laughs> I don't know. I, I always think about this. This is one of those things where like, I always tell everyone, I, I, I love being honest about it and open about it because I just want there to be more transparency with it all. Um, I'm not saying you should tell people your paycheck, but, you know, talk about it in general. I think it would be better. Taking UK government advice, Keck W, that's true, though. That's true. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think about it a lot. Think about it. How do you not impulsively spend your money? Um, I don't know. What, what makes you happy, right? I don't know. After, after, for, for me, I, after I paid off my student loan, I felt like I'd like, I didn't need to spend any more money. I, the only thing I buy is like tech and food. Okay. I do spend a lot on food. I won't lie. Food is definitely like a big one that I spend. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on food. Okay. I won't lie. All right. Court red handed off. So take me away. But, um, like, I, oh, and JoJo merch. All right, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't say I spend too crazy. Do you invest your money? I do. Okay, so this is the thing, right? This is this is another thing. Oh, thank you for the five subs as well. DX, J17. It feels weird talking about money and thanking people for subs. I appreciate that. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? Here's the thing that I didn't know, right? When you're like my age, right? People don't talk to you about investing money. I just... At my age, I just assumed the whole investing money shit I hear on YouTube is like a scam. Because like, I'm not a guy who ever, I've never, you know, no one in my family uh, ever had uh, enough money to seriously invest. You know what I mean? Like past pension, right? So that was like never a conversation that was brought up to me. 
And no one in my family in any capacity had enough money to ever invest, right? But now, you, obviously, you have to invest in, like, now I know no matter how much money you have, you should invest. But generally, like, my, my family was, like, we, we, ne we never had, like, any worries or anything. But, like, uh, what's the way? No, how am I going to say? How do I, how do I say this? My, my family wasn't broke, but we weren't struggling by any means, you know what I mean? Like, it was just pretty normal middle class. Um, and, you know, most of the money went to <laughs> raising kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> they didn't really have, like, uh... They didn't, like, because, you know, unless you have, like, a decent amount of money to invest, it doesn't really do that much, right? You know what I mean? Um... So, it's kind of one of those things that when you start getting money, like, no one has ever told you about investing. So, if you do make money, guys invest it and that's what i've have to have had to learn in like the past two years I've, I've only recently started doing it really um and i've i've been asking for help and stuff and paying people to help me because i don't know what the fuck i'm doing right I, I, like <laughs> the the first time you have money in your bank account you're like sick sick this is epic this is like so cool what the fuck like, i can buy like pizza and not worry you know what i mean but then it starts to get like a little more than, than what you, you've, in, you're you used to, and you're like, what the, what the fuck, right? What the fuck is going on? And then, and then, and then you're talking to people, and I, I remember one time I spoke to a banker on a plane, right? There's a, there's a banker guy. And uh, he was, he was giving me advice, and he was asking me, like, oh, what, what are you, what are you investing your money in? And I, and I, and I was like, oh, like nothing, not, nothing at all. And he was like, What? And then he was like, well, I mean, at least your money's in an interest account, right? And I was like, what's that? Like, the money gets interest? I don't get that. Not at all. And he's like... What? And I was like, oh. That that was when I kind of woke up. And I was like, oh, I should... Was I wake up? Uh, that was when I was like, oh, shit, you gotta, like, invest money, right? Okay, that is a bit stupid. Because you gotta bear in mind, guys, right? To me... And this is how I've always felt. Although I do, you know, saying you don't care about money is so disingenuous. Of course I care about the money because I want to, I want to fucking, I want to have a house at some point. And those shit costs so much goddamn money nowadays, right? Um, but it was something that when I was just spending all my goddamn time making videos, like the last thing I wanted to do was get on some call with a 50 year old man who's going to tell me about 1.2% interest rates. You know what I mean? That was... To me, that was not what I wanted to do. Um, and the only reason I, I do it now is because I, I feel like it'd be reckless and irresponsible of me to not do something uh, when you have spare money, right? So that's what I do, but I, I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I'll be honest. Uh, wouldn't that be why you just should have an accountant? No, so accountant helps you with tax. Um, but if, if you want to invest your money, you normally there's like people who can do it for you, but I, I've not really done much yet. I'm still in the process of doing it but i still don't really know what the fuck i'm doing um i'll be honest with you guys um yeah the whole crypto shit i was like oh maybe i should do that but then i was like oh, but I, I also just can't be fucking bothered um so yeah 401k yeah i don't get investing stuff i don't either man i i, I don't know oh gosh but i'm trying to figure it out and that's what's important um Thoughts on when you should buy? I don't know when I should buy a house. I I, I don't know. I it's not something I've um, thought about. I I did invest in stocks one time, and I I lost like a lot of money, like immediately. I I didn't really pick dumb stocks. I don't think, but I did lose. But then it went back up. But then it went down. And then I realized I I don't like stocks. They're very scary. But then I feel like I shouldn't. I, I'll let someone else do it. <laughs> I'll let someone else do it. <laughs> Uh, okay, I invested. I right, I invested in this. Um, I it was in this phase where I where I just thought. Um, you know when you hear something from someone and you're like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I should invest in that, right? So I I I, uh, I invested in um, what's it called? Desktop Metal. I think it was a 3D printing company. And so if you, if I let me pull up the stock right now, the Desktop Metal. Let me, let me show you. You're gonna you guys are gonna fucking Pepe laugh Lamau at me right now, All right? Um, all right, let me show you guys where I, let me fucking show you this. I was like, I'm gonna make a big brain move here, right? 
I invested, right? Guess where, guess where I fucking invested, guys. Take, take a wild guess. What point on this graph I invested? Take, take a point. Take, take a guess. Take a fucking guess. I invested here. <laughs> like right here. And, <laughs> and then I... And then, <laughs> and then I realized I'm not good at this. And then, uh, yeah. So that's what I realized. Yeah, I'm gonna let someone else do this for me. I'm not fucking doing this. Fuck this shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Laugh the pain away, Connor. Laugh the pain away. <laughs> <laughs> scammed I didn't get scammed it's just stocks man I don't know I learned a good lesson that day I learned a good lesson yeah I didn't know my place <laughs> this Connor's Wall Street bet arcs. it's like I didn't realize so I, I I invested in all the ones everyone told you to as well way back but yeah that, I, I don't do it anymore I don't fuck with that anymore You gotta do your research before. Omega lol. No, invest. Just invest. Um, but yeah, I do have a pension, but the state pension is like terrible. I think so. I, I, that's also why I'm trying to save money. I don't know. I right now, because you know the whole thing with YouTube and Twitch is that I don't know how long I can do it. You know, I don't know. Um. I don't know. It's weird because I can't see myself doing anything else, right? For like the next 10 years. Like, I love this shit so much. Um, I'm addicted. I'm, I'm fucking addicted to like making content. <laughs> I literally can't stop streaming or uh, making YouTube videos or I just, I don't know why, man. I, it's weird because like, I, I swear if you'd asked me like three years ago, I probably was like losing interest. I, I was probably, like, not having as much fun anymore. Um, I don't know why that was. I think I was just kind of in a bad, bad mental place. But I don't... The problem is, is that I never thought that I could be sad. So I think when I was sad, I just kind of was like, huh, that's... that's What is that? What is that? You know? Because I, I... How do you... I, to me, I just didn't... It didn't... I didn't know. Did moving to Japan make a difference? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> you found a career you like while traveling the world? Yeah, dude, Japan helped a lot, man. Um, I don't know. It's, um... I think moving here helped a lot. I think it made... It was it was very difficult. I won't lie, you know. I do I do meme about it all the time. It was very difficult moving. Moving is difficult in general, but moving to another country is very difficult. But um, yeah, the first few months were quite 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 tough. You know, trying to trying to get a, your head around everything and, and trying to fit in and uh, trying to do it. But you know, there was nothing there was nothing that I really wanted to do in the UK anymore. I I wanted to. I I felt like the YouTube scene in the UK wasn't very good. I didn't feel like there wasn't much going on in the UK for youtubers in general and uh as much as i love voice acting uh, you know it's it's really tough uh the money is okay if you can get gigs a lot but like it's it's just not it, i'd be living like very scarcely and paycheck by paycheck and to me it's like I, I i love it but also not enough to put my fucking life on the line um and so yeah i don't know i'm really glad i moved when I grow up, I want to be like Connor. I don't, I don't, I don't think you want to be like me. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure shit out, you know? I don't know. I'm, I'm always trying to... I'm always trying to... Learn. And I feel like I've changed a lot on YouTube. I've changed a lot over the years. And sometimes people people try and... Uh, people are like, Connor's changed. Well, yes, it's been six fucking years. Um... Which is why, I, you know, personally, if I'm not a, a slightly different person to who I was two years ago, I, I feel like for some reason I've uh, I've kind of failed a little bit. Like, I, I always want to be moving forward and I always want to be growing. And um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I really love Twitch, but sometimes I look at Twitch as well and I think like, what the fuck is going on on Twitch? It all feels like high school. And, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? I just, I just want to, I just want to hang out with people. I don't know. Do you still do VA gigs? I do, I do. I love voiceover, but I'm just not interested right now in like um, trying to make it my focus. It's really difficult. 
um and i really do love it and uh yeah i just i just oh man it's so tough it's voice acting is fucking hard guys getting into it is difficult you got to be the right place right time you got to keep trying and for me when i had youtube right there it was just so much easier to go for it it was so much more fulfilling um yeah have you considered professional gambling <laughs> professional losing maybe i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> oh god facebook gaming let's go i don't know i but that that's how the i feel like in general the internet is like it sometimes does feel like a big high school um and that's when i don't really enjoy it i like i don't know i i try and i that's why i just try, try and stay away from drama really I, I don't really have too much interest in being involved with it you know if someone was being shitty to me i would call them out but that wouldn't come from a place of me wanting to destroy their life that would just you know it's like if someone was being a dickhead on stream i would be like okay can you can you fucking stop being a dickhead please obviously after trying to defuse the situation um but you know <laughs> there's only so much you can do <laughs> uh how long do you see yourself doing youtube i don't know i like for a long time i can't see myself not doing youtube right now like right now i love it too much you know and uh twitch has been a really liberating thing thing for me i, I i've always really enjoyed um i've always really really enjoyed Oh, getting to do live content and experiment with that and uh, the past year has been really fun i've really 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 enjoyed it um and yeah i've kind of felt like in the last year that i feel like now if i wanted to stop trying i think i could <laughs> does that sound bad is that a bad thing to say like i feel like i understand how to do this now like, I finally feel like I kind of understand how to internet and how to YouTube and and how to make vid videos and make content. Like, I feel like I've been, I've been doing this long enough where I understand what is... Uh... But, but like, in, in a sense that if I wanted to stop trying... I don't. I fucking love it. And I always want to keep trying more. But... I Like, that's why that I constantly keep trying to up the quality on the videos and to my own detriment because sometimes I feel like I I've put the bar so fucking high sometimes that I don't have any ideas <laughs> that are good enough uh I don't know I, I don't know it's that's just in terms of my the content that I want to make obviously there are people making better content than me but in terms of the content that I want to make I feel like I'm really pushing it um to a point where anywhere like like if I wanted to get a better production to the point where like let's say like chris right chris chris's production is insane right chris's videos are insane and anyone looking at them can tell you that but that's because that's that's chris is 100 focused that man is pure driven and he uh, loves it he loves learning new things about cinematography he loves directing he loves the idea of putting together a movie right so in that sense right that that is so hard to keep up on a weekly basis and that's why chris doesn't do it on a weekly basis chris tries to but it's very difficult um and it's one of those things where like as much as i want to keep upping the quality it's like if i keep upping the quality there's no way i can do it once a week uh, that's the kind of that's like the biggest thing that i'm struggling with right now is that i want to keep up upping my youtube quality uh but i i think if i keep upping it too much more um it's going to be very difficult to maintain a weekly schedule I, I i'm already very much struggling i'm working on a video right now that has probably had like a month's worth of work into it so i have to make that up somewhere else because it's just going to be another weekly video <laughs> um but i really really like streaming has been a really good uh way to relax for me um and i find that i have a lot of um content i want to make that i just sometimes i i can't do on youtube like i love i'm i'm as you guys know i'm i'm a clown <laughs> and i love being able to try and do stuff that isn't as serious or isn't as well filmed and that's why i love twitch a lot like i love that we can just kind of chill and we can do this but then i can also just do something strange like i love the fact that i can buy like a heart rate monitor and we can use that we can integrate that right i love the fact that uh we can we can use these lights and that's a part of the experience right you guys can change them i like that um i love the fact that uh like i bought this thing we'll do it at some point i have an eye tracker 
So I can turn it on and then the screen can see where my eyes are. I love shit like that. That stuff's so, so cool. Unfortunately, it's one of the other. Yeah, like I, I, you know, maybe I could, uh, maybe I could do, <laughs> someone changing my life. You know, maybe I could do better on Twitch if I focused more on it and I had a schedule and I streamed eight hours a day every day. I, I do wonder, like, yeah, I wonder what would happen if I did that. But also at the same time, I, I, I think I would kind of get bored of Twitch if I did that all the time. If I, if that's all I'm doing every day. And also Twitch is, Twitch is scary, man. Twitch is scary. Because with YouTube, I can take like three weeks off and like nobody will know. So if I need a three week break, no one knows. But on Twitch, like if I take a three week break, everyone knows I took a three week break and they they tell me about it. <laughs> That's the one thing that, that really sucks about Twitch. But I love it though. I had taken, I had taken like two months breaks before on YouTube without any disruption in videos. Like I had not touched videos for like two months and no one would know because I, I'd, I'd have done all the work before. And I loved that. That was great. But then also, I definitely spent way more time doing like games and not working as much because I didn't think I was really enjoying what I was doing, especially during like the Sebastian era, I think. I think there was a time when I was getting, I was kind of getting kind of burnt out with it. Looks so let me have a look. But like most of my viewers now, you know what's scary? Is that because I've blown up so much in the past two years, most of my viewers don't even know about that whole thing that was literally my channel for like two to three years. You know what I mean? Isn't that weird? Because like most YouTubers, when you scroll down their history, their content isn't that different. But I feel like mine is so different now. It's, it's so jarring. But that's also why I tell YouTubers, right? When 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 YouTubers have like 10,000 subscribers, I tell them, I'm like, you know, it's it's amazing that you've got 10,000 subscribers, but you can't be thinking about it. Like I have to please these 10,000 subscribers because if you make two good videos that blow up, you will get 50,000 subscribers, right? So when you when you when when these people who have felt like that they're, they're stuck making one type of content, I always tell them, I'm like, "Yes, it's going to be difficult to change your content, but you can't think about your audience now as your only audience you need to keep thinking of what is the audience i want to get what are the what audience can i reach you know and to me i always thought okay i always loved anime and i thought hmm, i always wanted to expand more to anime fans but i was kind of stuck in this black butler thing but i also wanted to show my face more so it was kind of yeah i don't know it's always kind of difficult it's very difficult <laughs> Why do you put your camera in that thing, say, old office vibes? I don't know, I, li I like the camera here. I don't know why, I kind of like it. Um, I've been watching YouTube since the very day you started, and yeah, such a big difference in content. But I also like the fact that I'd like to think that the audience has also sort of matured with me. Um, You know, I'd like to think that, you know, let, I mean, let's be honest, there was a lot of like 13 to 15 year olds watching my old videos, but I'd like to think that now when they're like 18, which is weird to think, that they also can enjoy the stuff I'm making now, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, that's how I, that's how I view it. Um, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a weird one, it's definitely a weird one. We all grow, we all grow up together, we're getting old, it's true, it's true, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> And there was even at some point where I was making videos like five years ago that I just did not like, but I knew they would do well. And that's how you know you're a bad YouTuber because you, you, you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna succeed if you keep doing that. You have to learn to not make videos you think will do well. You need to do videos that you enjoy, which is why I try not to go for low hanging fruit now as much as I I'd love to. Um, do you have a script videos? No, I fucking hate scripting. <laughs> I can't script. But I feel like my strengths are when I just just talk. I don't, I don't know. I feel like when I read from a script, I'm just, I'm not as um, genuine or not as. I feel like I lose a lot of my charm for a script. I think. I don't know. I don't know. The avocado, avocado, lol. <laughs> yeah, that man certainly has changed. Uh, that's for sure. Script feels weird, man. x uh, Do you script your videos x -Fort? I don't know if you do. I can't script them, man. I literally can't. 
I'm getting motivated listening to this talk. Yeah, I mean, like I said this before, I when I started YouTube and I started, um, you script all of them besides chapter reviews. Oh, okay, damn. I mean, props, man. <laughs> more, more work than me. You know, when I, st I, I never ever wanted to be a YouTuber. I'd, I'd watched YouTube since I was, you know, since like it basically started. And I'd, I'd been watching it the, my whole childhood. And I still, even though I loved it, I never had any interest in being a YouTuber. Um, funny enough, my little brother did, um, but I never did. Um, but yeah, it just, I just kind of, I got bored and I just made a video and I never really th thought anything of it and it just did well. And I was like, oh, well, that's fucking weird, isn't it? Um, yeah, I, I don't know, it's strange, isn't it? I got to actually watch you through trash tapes. Nice, you're awesome. Oh, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm struggling right now making money for my art, trying to sell merch and take commission. Bro, do whatever you need to do, man. Push it. Push it. I didn't know you were going to stream again tonight. I didn't know I was going to stream again tonight. Has voice acting always been your number one passion, or has there been something else? No, no. There's definitely been other things. You know, I think... I think one thing that sucks is... Um, realizing that you're not always going to be passionate about the same thing. Um, and sometimes coming to terms with that is difficult. Um, I say um a lot, but that's me kind of trying to make sure I say my words eloquently. And it is really difficult when you kind of think, huh, this thing that I really love. Oh. Oh, that's a big earthquake. Oh, shit. Oh, sh oh shit, this is a big one. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay, this is big. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, okay. We're good. Oh, this is big. What the fuck? It's still going. I'm right, good. I think we're good. Whoa, that was crazy. That jolted me. That was kind of, that was kind of, what, what magnitude was that? Let's have a look. It's still going. Holy shit. My stream might die if it gets really bad, guys. It might, because the internet, the electricity might turn off. Oh shit, it's actually quite bad. Uh, what is this earthquake? Let's have a look. What's the earthquake? What's the magnitude right now? Has anyone, anyone seen the magnitude of that thing? That thing was fucking huge. What was that? Oh my god, it wasn't even that bad. I think it's four? Oh, that was a 4.6 in Tokyo. Holy shit, that was scary. You are receiving wireless emergency alerts. Would you like to continue receiving wireless emergency alerts? Oh my god, everyone's texting now. Everyone's like, oh my god, is everyone okay? Well, that was fucking scary. Fucking hell. I could hear the fucking posters falling. Is all the JoJo merch good? All right, we're good. The JoJo merch is safe. Thank God. Holy shit. Thank God I sealed it down. I'm st It's still kind of shaking a little bit. Uh, yo, can we get a clip of that? Yo, can we get a clip of that? <laughs> Holy shit. That was scary. That was kind of fucking scary. I didn't even know what I was talking about. Yo, that was fucking scary. Yo, can we get a clip? <laughs> yo, clip us where you at? Where you at? I want to watch that back. I want to see how that looked on camera. That was fucking scary, man. Holy moly. Um, I, I'm not like giga high up, but I'm not like... Super low down. <laughs> so that felt weird. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Holy shit. I was worried because it was like on that edge where like it could have got worse. It, I could definitely feel it like it was had the potential to get much worse. Because some of them start and there's two ways. When it starts, it's either the peak or it's about to get a lot worse. Uh, that's why I was a little scared there for a second because I was like, oh god, if this gets worse than this, oh my gosh. Whew. Whew. 
Well, that was interesting. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. <laughs> oh, my god. That was... Well, that was scary. First time that's happened on stream. Yeah, it is, actually. It's the first earthquake we've had on stream. Yeah, I want a clip to that. Can anyone grab a, grab a link to that? <laughs> I want to see that. I want to see it back. Oh, my lord. Someone said they're on the 8th floor. That was crazy. Yeah, bro, that was fucking... That was weird. That was the first big earthquake I've had in this apartment as well. And that was... That was strange. 6.4? Holy shit. I've never had that announcement on my phone as well. That was... I've never heard that one before. There we go. Is it, you see me in 4.6 or 6.4? That's kind of thing, huh? All right, let's watch this. Let's watch it again. I, I want to... Can we get a replay? Can we get a... We're just, this just in. Uh, we're going to play a replay. This thing that I really love... Oh. Oh, that's a big earthquake. Oh, shit. Earthquake. Earthquake. Oh, sh oh shit. This is a big one. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right, let me... Let me download it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. Okay, I didn't dox anything. That's good. I don't think so, at least. Oh, right, we're good. We're good. I was worried. I was like, oh my god, did I, share, did I leak something? No. Luckily. Face leak exposed. Yeah, we get it. All right, let's let's download it and upload it to Twitter. Let's do let's do a game in a moment. I'm gonna upload it right now to Twitter. Earth. Whilst I was streaming, Pog. That was kind of weird. Isn't nine the highest? Yeah, nine. Nine is like you're fucked. <laughs> nine is like you're you're over. <laughs> I'm uploading it. That was Pog. That was a Pog earthquake. I hope everyone's okay there. I think it should be fine. It wasn't. It wasn't like super, super bad. I think it should be all right. Nine is insta kill. <laughs> I think nine is like it's over. Uh, that was a scary one. No, <laughs> that was fucking crazy. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> that was fucking terrifying, actually. Damn. Well that well that certainly changed the topic. <laughs> That's one way of <laughs> of changing the topic. Oh my lord. <laughs> Oh my lord, that was that was pretty fucking. That was uh, that was something, all right. <laughs> that was fucking. That was, oh my god, that was weird. My heart rate, man. If only my heart rate monitor was on then, eh? You guys could have seen me. Like, it was that shock, the second shake after the announcement on my phone. That was like when I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, who's messaging? I'm getting so many messages. Oh, my Japanese teacher asked me if I was okay. Oh. How nice. I'll just send her the clip. I just, I just <laughs> I'm gonna send her the clip. <laughs> I'll be like, yo, check this out. <laughs> the clip is pogging. Oh shit, it is doing well, my lord. Oh Jesus, are oh, you guys going crap? What were we talking about before we nearly, uh, we nearly ended? The world nearly ended?
<laughs> Does anyone remember? <laughs> I, I can't remember what you were talking about. Yo, you okay? Watch my Twitch. Yo, you okay? Thanks for the five subs. Could you imagine it, bro? Oh my god. I wish there would have been like a, 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 a hundred gifted subs during an earthquake. And I'm just like, thank you for the hundred gifted subs, chat. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so funny. Holy shit. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm kidding. I, I, don't, I don't actually. I, I just thought it would be really funny if there was just some kind of chilling moment that was more important than me fucking living. <laughs> that was probably one of the. In, that was a fast one. I, there was one before that was worse in Japan that I've experienced, but it was kind of a ramp up where it went like. It went like shake 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 uh, and then it then it ended but i think because it built up you were kind of ready for it but that one was kind of like just immediately going that's a live sh live stream fails clip yeah i bet oh my gosh oh my lord <laughs> oh my lord <laughs> oh i hope i hope that it was a live stream fail i mean that's a that's a pretty big fail tectonic plate fail lamau <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lamau tectonics plates fail live on stream. <laughs> all right, hold on. I'm gonna get a cup of tea. This earthquake's stressing me out. I need some fucking tea. Give me a moment. I'll be right back. Give me one second, alright? Be right back. Uh, I'm running an ad because I'm broke. I'm back. Hello. God, that looks scary, doesn't it? Oh. 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 Hello. That was fast. Well, I, I just have the um, the tea strainer. Uh, I'm, I'm making some black tea, not British tea. Well, it's, it's kind of British, but no. Uh, the earth busted a massive nut. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, I can hear fucking ambulances outside. Oh, God. I hope everyone's alright. Fucking hell. That was that was pretty fucking scary actually. I'm sure I hope everyone's alright. 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 I forgot what I was talking about, I'll be honest, completely honest with you guys. I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> I, Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it was uh, interesting to say the least. My god. 6.1 in Chiba? God damn. God damn. Oh. Well, that was pretty ter terrifying. Hopefully I don't have to do that again. It was not fun. Talking about YouTube stuff? Yeah, I can't forget what we're talking about exactly. Um... Is Charles using Earthquake? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry, guys. Sorry, you just collateral damage to Charles. <laughs> oh, I, I told you guys this, right? But I, I installed um, a randomizer and I got it all working. So maybe we can do a randomized Pokemon stream at some point. That would be really fun. A randomized Pokemon Nuzlocke. That tweet made the viewers go up, Keck. I hope so. They, they missed out, man. Imagine it. The one stream you don't go to is the one where... My fucking house just like starts fucking shaking like a madman. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was pretty fucked. I came from Twitter. Let's go. Let's go. You missed out. You missed out, guys. It was good fun. It was a good fun. We had a good time. I just turned my desk up and down. I just, you know, I was just upping my desk like this. Sorry, that was actually what was happening. I, there was no earthquake. <laughs> Sorry, guys. A real nuzlocke. I will do a real nuzlocke because you know what? It's randomized, so it will probably we'll probably have like a better time. You know what I mean? We'll probably have a better time. You know what I'm saying? It should be fine. Should be fine. 
First time stream had caught months. This is happening. Epic timing. Yeah. We, we were chilling, talking about YouTube stuffs, and then uh, the earthquake rudely interrupted us. Can you believe that? The audacity of the tectonic plates to have a meltdown whilst I'm streaming. I'm number 1,928, don't you know? Don't you know who I am, tectonic plates? <laughs> what's wrong with me? What's, what's, what's wrong with me, man? Uh, stream of fakes and earthquake gain more viewers see what you what happens next you won't believe it <laughs> true 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 <laughs> stream of fakes earthquake what happens next is shocking hi connor thanks for helping me get through my engineering degree you know i always tell people your engineering degrees are very good because you either learn that you want to be an engineer or that you absolutely do not ever, ever want to be anything involved with engineering. And uh, for me, it was the latter. Unfortunately, if you find out what you want to do, it's a lot better than if you find out what you don't want to do. Um, so I, 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 one job was down out of the 20 million or something out there. So that was fun. Don't be scared. It was under six points. Just a small ride. I see that because I also live in LA. So just used to them. You're talking about being in a better place after you moved in Japan. I, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely, um, definitely, uh, felt better since going to Japan. But I, I don't know. It's, it's fucking, I don't know. It's weird. I always look back re retroactively now and think like, oh yeah, I, I didn't, maybe I, maybe I was like fucking sad. See, I, how, okay. When I was like, when I think that I had like a really big slump, I didn't know it at the time until I was like happy again. And I was like, oh, maybe I was like miserable. And it was for a while, it was for a good long time. And I didn't like want to hang out with anyone. I think I was really like not fun to hang out with. And I, 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 some of my friends have told me that at that time. So I was, I, you know, but I didn't know why. I didn't understand it. I, Cause I was just like a guy and I was from a place where you just, wait, maybe I, I'm depressed. Yeah, essentially, but like, you know, no one, when I was growing up, um, where, where, especially where I was from, that was just like not a thing. Like no one, <laughs> depression just didn't exist. <laughs> like, <laughs> like no one told you that that existed. And and when they like said, um, you know, that when you were taught about depression and stuff like that, it was just like a whole thing, thing, thing of like, oh, that's just what, that's not what normal people get. That's the, that's the TV thing. That's what TV people get. TV people get depressed. You don't get depressed, Connor. You're a you're a normal person, not not one of those TV people back in my day. Well, I mean, the UK is quite behind on a lot of stuff like that. And I lived in a very northern kind of place that wasn't very um, forward thinking on a lot of ideas. So, yeah. You are TV people. <laughs> I have, I guess I have now, right? But I don't know. <laughs> but like, I, I like the internet because... In many ways, being a content creator, I've been very lucky that I don't, I'm forced to be educated on things that I probably wouldn't have been if I'd have stayed in my town, right? Like, I, I'm, I'm very glad that I've learned a lot of, uh, a lot about myself and just taking care of yourself and, you know, just everything, really. The words depression doesn't quite exist in India. Yeah, well, I think it's, um, I don't know. I think a lot of people see it as... You can be depressed, but saying you're depressed out loud and being able to have help is like a luxury, right? In in some ways, weirdly. You know what I mean? You can only... Uh, chat is off. Yeah, where is chat off? Why is that? Oh, shit. Thank you for the 10 subs. Appreciate it. It's a privilege. <laughs> Almost. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to describe it. I wouldn't... I think privilege might be the right word, but... I think because when you when you don't when, oh, how do I how do you describe this? Chat was off. I don't know how to turn it on. It's on. I don't know why it's off. I think a diagnosis is a privilege. Yeah, true. Like getting a diagnosis and being able to uh, um get help for it is like a privilege. When when if you can't get help for it and and you you're not in a position to be able to like you know you what what you what can you do? You just got to get on with it. Or, or don't. It's very difficult. It, I don't know. I've had depression literally since I was uh, stuck. I remember, but saying it out loud feels really weird. Yeah, I, I can imagine it is. I imagine it's not very easy. But I, I, you know, I wish I'd, I wish I'd been more educated on it because I might have 
gotten help or something when I was instead of just being miserable. But it was it was a very long time ago, and I, you know, I'm I'm trying to figure out why the fuck the chatbot isn't showing. Does anyone know why? I can't fucking figure out why. I don't know. Wait, what if I do, um... Well, here, is the chatbot working here? Oh, no, the chatbot's not working here either. Oh, no, chatbot is here. Why isn't chatbot here? Oh, it is here now. Okay. I don't know. It's working now. Yeah, and, you know, if you're a, you know, fellow guys out there, it's, uh, it is difficult. Um... It is very difficult. Take care of yourself, guys. It is hard. It's very difficult. We're, 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 we're very bad at opening up, you know? And take care of yourself. Open up to your homies, man. It's the uh, number one piece of advice I can tell you. That's for sure. That's for sure. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm getting more messages. My manager told me, next time, please go under the table. <laughs> being told off. I'm being told off. I should have gone under the table. I didn't think it was, I didn't know what to do. Um. <laughs> Can the Connors make the earthquake noise? Yeah, I did. Uh, yo, uh, Alexi, go, go to my Twitter. I posted the clip of the earthquake. I was actually live and the whole thing went off. The whole shebang. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Looking back, it was funny, but it was quite terrifying at the time. Is there enough room under your table? Yeah, I can. I mean, I can, it's a standing desk, so I guess I can. I guess I can just move it, move it up, and go under it. Just stand underneath my desk. Oh man. <clears throat> pretty amazed by the quake. Yeah, it was a pretty juicy one, eh? That was a pretty big boy. I'm getting message now. What's going on? Why is all this shit? All right. <clears throat> Just telling everyone that, like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> My teacher's laughing. You were streaming? <laughs> yeah, it was... Oh my lord. <sighs> how much are Japanese lessons? Um, how much are they? I think it's... Is it... Is it... Is it... Is it 50 bucks for two hours? Or is it 25? I can't remember. It's one of them. It's one of them. Show us more love hotels? Oh, I will. I, I will. I got, a ba I got a backlight now as well. So it's going to be a game changer, that's for sure. Um, go under the table. <laughs> we, 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 we don't have earthquakes in the UK. So I was never taught what to do. Lol. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> natural disasters just don't exist in the UK. I don't, <laughs> we don't, I've never been taught what to do in an earthquake. The biggest earthquake in the UK is like, was like, in my life, there was one. There was actually one, but it was like a tickle. It was like... It was like magnitude one or something. They taught you. They tell you. They tell you what to do if it floods. There are some places that flood, but that, that's about it. That's all we get, really. You know, the worst thing that's happened to us is like losing tea. That's pretty much it. Oh my lord! That was a, that was a crazy earthquake, huh? I'm still. I'm still. It's kind of weird. This normally happens when there's a big earthquake. 
Um, watch Aki's video. I, maybe I should go there and learn. Maybe I should go and... <laughs> I need to go there and, and get the the full lo the full uh <laughs> Boris's hair is a natural disaster. <laughs> bro, I'm getting there, bro. I'm getting there. Big Sedge. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Is it a Chosen video? I haven't watched Chosen video yet. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't watched it. I've not really had time today. I've, I've been busy all day. Oh shit! Thank you, Full Metal Meister. Hey, how you doing? Give me the five subs. Alrighty. Let's have a little sip of tea, shall we? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, guys, guys. <clears throat> the whole Twitch earning thing, right? Now, now, this is the only time, right? You can ask questions, right? Because it's not going to come up again in streams. Well, I'm probably right on my bed. If you have any questions, you can ask it. A any questions you guys have, you can ask me, right? I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. But anything, online content creation. If the money, because the money's involved now, right? So I can tell you guys what's, what's, what's all the game? What's all the game? What's two plus two, four? 21. 21, is that right? Hold your born. Think of the five gifted subs. If you have any questions about content creation, anything you want to know, right? Anything you want to know. I'll tell you guys, right? I'll tell you any, anything you want to know, guys. Let's have a look. Doesn't Twitch take half the money? They, they fucking do, unless you have a better deal. It's quite a lot. It's, quite, it's kind of sad, really, because, you know, I, I really do appreciate the support. And sometimes I feel like when people... If someone gifts me like a hundred subs, half it goes to fucking Bezos. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you're a home gamer THZ. Thank you for the five stars, man. Appreciate it. Maylene snaps your neck for... <laughs> Maylene's like, hilarious how your first instinct was to clip it and upload it to Twitter. I, I mean, it, 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 it stopped shaking so i figured oh why why not how'd you make it through the quarantine hotel bro i was fucking miserable i i i don't know how to describe it right something about okay first of all i'm an extrovert as well let's get that known right i need i i i feed off um, I feed off talking to people and, and being around people. So not being able to like see anyone or anything was like, yeah, that was shit. For three days, it was kind of, I didn't realize how, uh, how difficult it would be, I guess, in some ways. Ludwig went through it in depth, did he? Well, you know, the thing that I, the thing with the Twitch thing, right? The thing with the Twitch thing, I'm coming at it from a mainly YouTube perspective. So I, I do do Twitch and I and I I was not shocked by any of the money, right? We'll talk about the Japanese quarantine hotel in a bit. Fuck that. Fuck that. I, I got I got I got saw something else. I'm distracted. Um Wait, hold on. Okay. Why are you fifty years old? That's a good question. That's a great question. So I if somebody came from a YouTube perspective, when I saw the Twitch leaks, I was thinking, oh, they're making a they are making a lot, right? But 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 I'm telling you, right, the, the top YouTubers, the top, top YouTubers are making, like, way more. Way, way more. I mean, if it, I mean, you can tell that from Mr. Beast, right? Like, you can <laughs> I mean, just want to look at that, right? <laughs> but, but, like, even a channel with, like, 10 million subs is probably making, like, 10 times what, what... <laughs> What, what, you know, it's, it's crazy. Like, the, I just made me realize, I'm like, man, I, if this ever happened to, like, YouTubers, oh my god, people would really be up in arms. It's just Twitch payouts, yeah, sponsors, yeah, sponsors are a lot, right? Sponsors are a lot, like, um, I'll be, you know, I'll be totally honest with you guys. I, from the 72-hour subathon, right, I, if I... If I did, hmm, how do, what's the best comparison? So the the, uh, the entirety amount of money I made from the 72-hour subathon I made is like, uh, 
if I did like a dedicated video for someone, I would make like way more than than that subathon, right? If I made a, a whole entire video for for like me playing Raid Shadow Legend or something, right? So in that sense, I'm like, oh well, no, you know, that's kind of it's kind of like, well, I did 70 hours when I could have just played a fucking game for one hour, you know what I mean, and uploaded it. So it's like totally different, and I'm not even like that big compar comparatively to like someone like Mr. Beast, right? If Mr. Beast has an, a game that he's promoting in front of his YouTube channel, right? It may, like, we, 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 you know, I think, what was Mr. Beast promoted? Like, I don't know, fucking, um, I don't know, some games. He's promoted some games at the start of his videos, right? Now, his videos are guaranteed to get 40 million views. That's probably what he's telling clients, right? So, he's probably getting somewhere like, if I had to guess, like, extrapolate that, uh, it's kind of a, br a broad range, but let's say Mr. Beast talks about yeah, Dragon City or Genshin or something like that. I don't know, any game, right? Let's just, I'm just throwing out games. Any game. At the start of his video, for one minute, it's probably like uh, anywhere between, I, I would guess, two to five million dollars. You know? So, <laughs> you think about it in that sense, <laughs> you know, and, and all they have to do is just say the things, right? Because, because to them, right? You have to understand. 40 million, like 40 million views. Like, you know, like America's Got Talent doesn't get that many views. Like, you know what I mean? Like you have to, you have to think about it like that. Like, you know, how much does America's Got Talent pay to have the fucking like cola or Pepsi on the table? You know what I mean? Like way, probably more than that, right? So when you think about it like that, it's, it's, the money is like totally different. It's totally different. Asmin Gold leaked that he was offered 400k for a mobile game. That doesn't even remotely surprise me. That's like, that's for someone of his size, he could probably get even more than that, depending on what he's doing. You know what I mean? That's not unreasonable. But the thing is, as well, and this is what I always tell people, right? You have to understand that these are the top people. These are the top like 100 people, right? And they are the top 100 people out of like how many million people that are trying to do this job. Right? So it's really easy to be like, that's insane that they're making that much. But for them to make that much, there, there has to be like 100,000 people who are making enough to get by. Because if you don't have, if the, those people at the top aren't making like billions of fucking dollars, then the guy that you watch on YouTube who gets 10,000 views on animation won't get a, like he, he's the, like the reason like why Mr. Beast gets that much is so that the people in lower down who aren't getting that many views can get money. The trickle down economics, yeah. So in some ways, yeah, it's it's stupid that these people are making, uh, that I, I, I make as much as I do. But at the same time, you can't have this, this small creator economy. And I, I never would have grown because I couldn't reinvest the money that I made, right? So it's tough, it is really tough. I think because we see YouTubers who we feel don't deserve money. I'm sure you could all think of YouTubers who flex wealth, who are insufferable, very rude, and generally not nice people. And I totally agree that, like, there are a lot of people here like, God damn, I really wish some people didn't have money. <laughs> but, you know, it's a, it's a system that, that allows people, like, like for, I mean, like, fuck's sake, like, I wouldn't have been able to do this if I didn't get the money in the start, if I didn't make the hundred bucks here and there. Like, my my first four paychecks went up to getting me a PC. So, you know, those first years of me investing everything I made into the, the YouTube is like crucial. Um, you know, and I, I could have I could have trickled out after that. And uh, it's a disproven theory for ec economics overall. This is something different. Okay, well, yeah, I I mean, uh, that, I guess I, I was just using it because it sounded good. <laughs> it sounded big brain, <laughs> but it's just that it's just one of those things right i i don't know it, it sucks and it's uh it's kind of a, a an uncomfortable thought <laughs> to be honest uh, but it's something i try to be open and honest about i don't want people to be under the impression or or you know i think that i can be i can be a normal person in society a level-headed person uh and still do well for myself like i just i just don't want to be out of touch um, and uh, I, I, that's, I don't really give a shit about pretending to be broke or be relatable. I don't, I'm not really, 
I, I think it's wrong and, and disingenuous for YouTubers to pretend that they're broken shit and uh, like, like you know, people making tens of thousands of dollars being like, oh, thanks, man. This is really going to help my, my rent this month. Like, fuck off. Like, like you don't have, uh, like, like you can't fucking just outright buy every, like, the house you live in. Fuck off. But that's, that's also why, like, I always tell you guys on stream, like, you don't, you don't need a sub. You don't got a sub. You don't got to donate. I don't, I don't ever expect it. I don't, I don't turn on the stream thinking, oh, how many subs am I going to get? And yeah, he still calls us peasants. Bro, you're all peasants. Get out. <laughs> I love that joke though. I hate, I, I know it's so bad I should, but, but, um, you know, I, 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 I genuinely, when I say like, I know every single fucking Twitch streamer or whatever says that, but like, I, I, you know, to me, it's just, uh, I like doing it. I don't think about it. I don't consider a stream a success or a failure if I get with how, how many subs I get, but I like just doing fun stuff. I don't know. Connor's wholesome confirmed. Yeah, I don't know. It's just weird, isn't it? It's it's really uncomfortable talking about money and making money and, and whatnot. And I've often said that on stream, it's very hard to feel like you deserve it when, you, when you're doing well. Is this just men just like, men experience struggling making money? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's just uncomfortable. I don't know. We are peasants. <laughs> Guys, no, shut up. <laughs> Suffering from success. Oh, gosh. Imposter syndrome? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I know a lot of content creators who feel the same and, and they're like absolutely terrified about people thinking they earn money because they think that people will turn on them when they think they make money, which is... A lot of creators feel like that, so I, I I know I know a lot of people who were really upset about the Twitch leak because they thought that people would like dislike them um, after they found out how much money they were making. Um, I think that's sad, you know. Um, I I mean I I just assume to me I, I I thought it was transparent what's going on. I thought everyone knows, everyone can see the money that's being that's being given, right? So. Oh, I never thought of anything like that. I never thought people would be angry about it, but I, I think it's people who don't watch Twitch who got angry about it, uh, personally, um, because they don't understand how the system works. I don't know. People are allowed to be successful. Yeah. Well, you know, what people don't tell you as well, streaming is, uh, you know, as somebody who's done streaming on YouTube, my, my opinion shifts all the time, but streaming is hard. And unlike YouTube, I do think with Twitch that more natural, natural, ten, like natural, um, what's the word? What's the word? With YouTube, I firmly believe anyone, literally anyone can succeed on YouTube. I genuinely believe that. But on Twitch, I feel like you need to have some, uh, some kind of personality trait that lends well to basic, you need to be able to stream for a long time and be good at talking. And you can learn that, but also I just think like, I think the people who are at the top, from what I've seen, are just people who are just naturally like charismatic and are just good at talking. And that's something that even on YouTube is is hard because on YouTube I can edit. I, I anyone, there are a lot of YouTubers I know um, who I love and I, are really good friends of mine um, who <laughs> struggle a lot to keep a live stream going. Like they they rely heavily on the the uh the editing of youtube and they rely heavily on being able to do retakes and, and being able to uh do it well, Gaunt, well i mean you know gone's very open about the fact that you know he feels way more comfortable uh with editing and stuff but you know Gaunt, i mean gone's better than he thinks he is gone's gone's a lot better than he thinks he is um gone's just gone worries too much um it's not them i have other friends too who uh uh yeah no i mean chris is but the thing chris is funny as well on stream chris Chris knows how to handle an audience. Chris just doesn't want to stream for more than two hours. <laughs> I have other friends, guys, all right? <laughs> uh, Chris is just fucking lazy. <laughs> I love Chris, though. I love, I, Chris, I, I talk to Chris about it a lot. And he, you know, and this is the thing we've gone as well. I, he gets tired after like two hours. But but I used to get tired after two hours when I streamed as well. I think it's just something you learn. And so you you learn to kind of enjoy a lot more. Um, so yeah, clipped. Yeah, fuck, that's gonna be that's gonna be a fucking clip right there. That's gonna be <laughs> It's gonna be a clip only. <laughs> oh my lord. 
It's gonna be a clip. All right. Honestly, after I saw how much you and Mass make, I felt relief. I'm glad she's getting that much because medical bills. Are yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, I know Mass is gonna kill me, but I, I, you know, I, I feel like Mouse deserves it. <laughs> if there's one fucking stream. If the one streamer deserves it, I think it's Mouse. She's gonna fucking kill me for saying this. I know she's going to kill me. Um, I'd fight anyone who thinks that she doesn't. <laughs> I, I saw some people who were like, she deserves more. And I was like, oh, that's based, based. <laughs> no, I, she, I, Iron Mouse works her goddamn, goddamn ass off, you know? Like, there's that's no cap, no cap. Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, sorry, well, I saw the meme of people, people were memeing being like, oh, wow, Connor must, Connor must feel self-conscious. No, bro, I don't give a fuck. I'm happy my friends are making back. <laughs> I I want that. I you know when I have friends who are doing doing great stuff and I don't feel like they're they're monetizing it properly. I'll always try and help them out, man. I'm always like, how can I help you make more money off your own work? Because you know a lot of the time with internet stuff, it's it's really you know a lot of people are putting in so much work, but it's just about monetizing it properly and learning how to how to adequately make sure you're getting compensated for the hours you're putting in um and a lot of creators just don't know how to do it because no one talks to each other about this stuff but so yeah i mean yeah I, yeah <laughs> uh Tectone spends a lot on gacha. Yeah, but te Tectone is investing. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, when a gacha streamer pulls gacha, it's not the same when we pull gacha, guys. It's 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 different. It's totally different. When a, when a gacha streamer pulls a, a box, that's a business expense. That's tax, de that's tax deductible, guys. <laughs> that's a, that's, can you tax deductible your pulls for Zongling? I can't. <laughs> I can't, I can't go to the fucking dark tax man and do that. You know, like when, uh, you know, when a, when a, when a, if a streamer spends 50k on, on, on loot boxes, but they made 200k, <laughs> it's just not the same, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's totally, and that's a, that's tax deductible. So that's not even, you don't even pay tax on that shit. But anyway, you know, that's what it is. Tax free. Yeah, bro, you guys are paying 20 or 40% on, on your polls, man. We're getting scammed, bro. Can you tax it out gacha as an expense? Anything you do for your business that you can you can argue is an act legitimate part of contributing to your business, which if you were a gacha streamer, I would argue is an extremely important part of your business model is pulling. So, I, I, I'm I near certain you could get away with arguing for it. I would be shocked if you couldn't. How does taxes work when you're streaming YouTube? It's like any any business, right? Like, you know, anything that you can re argue is a, is a, an expenditure, is a legit part of your business, you know. Um, you know, I, I can't go and eat out and be like, that's a business expense, right? But I, if I buy a, a, a $10,000 camera, I can 100% I can claim that. Um... So yeah, I mean, uh, text, tactic, but, but yeah, any any PC stuff I would buy, I would always, of course, I would, I would claim that back because that's that's what I'm. My work is all on that stuff. Audits are hell though. Yeah, they are. But then it gets complicated because if you're using stuff that you're using outside of your work, and yeah, you know, it's uh, but you know, bro, you know, I mean, when you're when you are making like less than like. A hundred thousand dollars, bro. You, you you should be doing. You should get an accountant and get him to help you in every single goddamn way that you can, because that you guys are getting fucked the most. I feel like it's you know, it's so fucked. I mean, you know, you always hear people get not you know the giga rich people not being taxed, but it's fucked up, man. Self employment is fucking difficult, man. Just avoid your taxes, easy. <laughs> yeah, true. Just avoid them, bro. Just just don't pay. <laughs> Just don't pay. I'm sure the cosplay is tax. I, 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 I filed the cosplay on my taxes. 
100% I did. I bought those for videos. They were video expenses. The videos don't happen without the cosplays. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> like that video is not made without the cosplays. The video, it's a, to make the video, I buy the cosplays. It's, it's part of the video expense. If I travel somewhere, it's part of the video. So I would have to dead ass go to my accountant and be like, oh yeah, so these $1,000 I spent on costumes. Uh, yeah, that is, that is part of the video exp making experience, yes. You didn't know you could do that? It's part of your business. Anything that is le legitimately a part of your business in any way, you you can claim. It just, obviously it feels weird when you talk about it. Um, when you, like I buy cosplay, I bought cosplay and it's tax deductible, that feels weird. Uh, but yeah, no, that's, uh, yeah, just get an accountant that I, I was always scared to because I was always embarrassed to like show them how shit I am at handling my money. Um, but I should have done it sooner because they're not as expensive as I thought they were and they save the money. They save you the money. <laughs> I was just self-conscious. I didn't want someone looking at my bank accounts or some shit. I thought that was, I was like, no, I don't want to do that. But I did it. Um, what extends your knowledge in terms of, uh, what is this? Editing videos I did with on with Oh, I don't know that any. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, the, the you know, the the older the older I get and the more I learn about this stuff, the more I'm like, holy shit, this system is so goddamn complicated. That's why that's why rich people get to stay rich cuz us fucking mortals could don't have a chance of understanding the tax rules. You know, <laughs> I don't even know where the Cayman Islands is, let alone how the goddamn on Earth it, it functions. I, I don't understand why there's so many islands that are just all have different rules. And, and it seems to be like I'm the only fucker who's not do, taking advantage of them. <laughs> Me and my 20 bucks from Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> for your broke Twitch streamer. <laughs> hmm. Oh, of all the wish things arrived? No, not yet. Hopefully soon. Oh! Is Twitch or YouTube more lucrative? Um, it depends. Okay, here's a question, right? Okay, so I get... Uh, right, right now, I have 8,000 viewers. Where... On YouTube, right? I wouldn't place myself in, like, the top YouTubers. I wouldn't do that. I think that would be stupid. Um, I'd say I'm doing pretty well for myself. But what would you say about Twitch? I, would you say I'm, I don't know if you talk about like the, the, the ecosystems of Twitch and YouTube, I wouldn't know where to put myself on both of them. So when you ask which one's more lucrative, I think you have to consider where I am um, on each platform. 8,000 is pretty high. It is pretty fucking high, but that, that's only recent, right? Um, but again, like I'm not full-time Twitch either. I also know I don't know how to properly monetize Twitch. Um, you know, like all of these goddamn clips of me and me and Mouse. If I swear to God, if I put ads, if I claimed every single goddamn one, I don't claim any of them, by the way. But if I did, I'm, I'm sure I'd be a fucking millionaire by this point. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but you know, I, I, I know there are other streamers that do claim the clips, and they make a lot of money from them. I'm, if if a company came to me and was like, "Hey, Connor, do you want to claim the clips?" I'd be like, "Well, tell me about it. Let me know how it works." Um, you know, because I know there are other streamers that do it, but also if it was, st I, to be fair, though, it's kind of weird because if it's like when it, when you talk about clips with other people, I'd be like, "No, no, 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 that's not fair. You don't get to cl claim clips where it's me with someone else." That's where it gets weird. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm you know, um, like. When someone was uh, uploading, uh, like, so for example, right? When someone was uploading After Dark streams, right? Before we made the channel, there was two two After Darks on that channel that the guy, the person who had it before, uh, had monetization on for. And if we had never claimed After Dark, right? And we did, let's say we did a stream every week and they uploaded, um, they uploaded the full two hours. That person would probably be able to quit their job if we never copyright claimed them, guaranteed. And they'd probably be doing a, like pretty good for themselves. Um, so like the whole the whole thing is that if you, if you wanna go crazy, 
and I want to fucking copyright claim everything, I, I could I could definitely be monetizing Twitch better. But also, I, I also don't want to... I want people to feel like they can share clips and not give a fuck. Like, I don't know. So... It's kind of, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird one. Does it, does it monetize though? Well, now it is because it's, 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 uh, well, but also I, I don't, I, I, all I ask is that people who upload clips don't monetize it. Um, I, and I, I, I'll never claim it. I just, I, you know, I don't want someone, I think it's wrong for someone to make if they were making like 10 grand a month off clips of me. I think that's wrong. You can upload clips of me. I have no problem with that, but I don't think you should be making a shit ton of money off of my clips. If you transform them and you're making some funny edits or you're including it in some other video, sure, go ahead, use it, monetize it. I don't give a shit. But if you're just ripping clips from my stream, I, 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 yeah, I don't think you should monetize that. I, I think that's fair. I, for me, I think that's, you know, because a lot of the time, a lot of the channels that are clipping are just bots that are going through the clips list that are, other people have made, right? Um, like they're just, if you, one of you clips something in chat and it pops up in my clips, it's just someone else is just ripping them off you. you they didn't even clip it. And so it, they didn't even do any work. <laughs> uh, they, they literally just have a program that does it. That's why. <laughs> so people are like, yeah, man, they deserve it. No, fuck, fuck. No, they don't deserve to monetize it. <laughs> what? Um, but yeah. That, that's just my my opinion. Jonathan Bot confirmed. Well, I mean, a lot of the uh, there's no way a human can upload clips that fast, right? So, I'm not saying if you just edit my clips, you, you like, ed, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I want it. I think it should be like transformative. If you're just ripping stuff off the stream and uploading it, then it's yeah, it's like whatever. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those things that I don't really, I don't really care too much about. I just kind of, um, I, I yeah. I think is that does that count as caring? I suppose. I suppose it does in some aspect. Authorized clippers split the profits. Uh, yeah. I mean, it could do something like that as well. But again, it's just I don't know. It's just so much effort, isn't it? I just want to stream. I feel like one of the big downfalls that can easily become creators is caring too much about money and sharing money with people who work for you um and that's one thing that i always try and tell people is just don't be greedy you know don't 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 be greedy i don't know and uh it's important to it's important to share and to, to if you're doing well to to pass it down to the people who are working for you i believe I think that you get the best work out of people who are working with you uh, when you, when you're, when you, when you, when you're, you know, you treat them right. Like the, um, I've said this before and I've, but like the Connor Dog channel, the second channel, uh, me and Mudan split that 50-50. So like, I don't, I don't touch anything. Mudan does the titles and thumbnails. He edits the videos. He does everything. Uh, yeah, we just split it 50-50, all the ad revenue. And uh, it's a good deal. Uh, I mean, it's it's uh, it's a very good deal. And uh, I don't mind, because I just want there to be a system where um, there's a reward for them putting in extra work. I wouldn't... I feel like... if Here's the thing, right? People don't tell you about hiring an, a YouTube editor, right? Editors, right? When they first work for you, they will be like they'll have that honeymoon phase where they love it and then after that if you want to if you want to keep an editor who is very good and like you know people like mudan are a you know mudan's mudan's an absolute beast and he's a machine and editors like mudan don't come around often mudan is like a very very good editor so if you want to like you know if you're working with someone you have to give them an incentive to stay with you and not someone else right <laughs> And like, I think the reason why Connor Doug does so well and why the second channel videos are doing well is because Moon and Edit's like a beast, man. The videos are amazing. Like the, the quality he puts into them are, are fantastic. Um, and you know, it would be a shame. And yeah, everyone thinks, oh, well I can just hire someone else. Yeah, of course you can, but it's gonna, it's gonna be shit. 
This man, this man's five star editing, man. It's just so good. It's so good. Very good, very good quality. I'm sure I'm, I've stroked Mudan's dick enough before. I always, I'm always complimenting him on stream. He's a good. He, he does streams as well, guys, and he's really good. He's really funny. And uh, yeah, I've, I've, uh, Mudan does so many of my editing stuff. This is why the chicken connoisseur disappeared. He didn't pay his editors enough, did he really? But that's the thing, right? Like when you're making content, the last thing you want to be bogged down by is stupid bullshit that you're bringing on yourself, right? Like, like if your channel is failing because you're not giving money to the people who deserve it, that's totally on you, right? Like you're totally fucking up. Like that's, that's, that's totally your fault. That's, that shouldn't be an issue. Give me money. Jinx, I love your editing, man. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> I praise Evan too. Yeah, I mean I, I Evan, Evan, Evan was amazing, you know, Evan's edits are good. I I, I sadly don't have uh I, I don't work with Evan as much as I used to. But Evan's also killing it himself now, right? You know? Evan Evan's killing it on Twitch. Uh and I think Evan always wanted to be a content creator over an editor anyway. <laughs> um so you know, I you know, and, and Evan Evan doesn't need to edit my my videos anyway like he, he he i think he would still do if i asked him to i think he would still do it maybe i don't know but out of uh just because uh i i think uh, of the the history you know uh, at least i don't know i can't i can't say for sure but that's, that's uh yeah uh what is this <laughs> Please be my editor. I'll pay you more than this, but ever would. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, I I think there's a lot of shortcomings that can happen on a YouTuber, and it's also it's hard to um, hmm. It is quite difficult to to feel comfortable giving money away and paying for services. It's something you, you, when you start getting into large amounts that you're not used to, but you can afford, but you're not used to spending much, it, it is difficult to get to learn it. I don't know how to explain it, really. Because even if you make a lot of money, you might not feel like you make a lot of money. So when people, and I think that happens a lot with YouTubers, because a lot of them just live in their bedroom. So when people ask them for like X amount, that seems a lot, I think a lot of YouTubers are like, whoa, that's that's a lot. But even though they can easily afford it, they just think that they can't, they're like, no, no, that doesn't make, no. So then that's why you hear of these horrible rates. But even when I first started working with Evan, I, I couldn't pay him that much, unfortunately. And I, you know, and uh, it, it went over and it went up over time. But yeah, you know, it's one of those things that I, you know, it sucks in the start. And I, I wish I had, uh, wish I could have paid more. And I, I wish I was making more. But without that, I wouldn't have grown. So, you know. Explain it just fine. Thank you. Thank you. Posture check. You spend too much money. You overspend too much, really? Okay, that's also another kind of person, right? I don't know. I'm, 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 uh, I tend to, I don't really spend much money except on food and business costs, aka artwork, editing, uh, if I need, like, like, I bought the Valve Index. I wanted that for streams. I bought that cameras like stuff like that i don't i don't really yeah all right what else editing for free oh that now that's uh that's interesting <laughs> jonathan jonathan uh jumping oh, wait what's this what the fuck is this the fuck is this Oh, I didn't leak anything. Oh, it's like leaked. <laughs> Editing definitely is easy. No, dude. Edit getting a good editor is like the hardest part about being a YouTuber. No one tells you that. Not no one tells you that uh getting a good editor is like one of the hardest things on YouTube. It, it, like, you know, like look at something like um Anthony Padilla, right? You watch his videos. His editing is like such a core part of his videos. Um and getting getting someone who you can work with on an, a good basis who elevates your content is really important and uh yeah people, a lot of people just kind of think that editors are just someone you can just hire and that they'll they do you know they, they can just every editor is the same um but yeah not true 
Editing is tough. That's why nobody wants to do it and they hire everyone else to do it. <laughs> Justice for editors. Yeah, Jinx. Jinx is an editor. Jinx is a very good editor as well. Um, do you edit your videos? Yeah, I did. So for the first like... Oh, yo, Esam. Thank you so much, man. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. For the first uh, three years, I edited all my own videos. And I fucking hated it. I hated it so much. I hated editing so goddamn much i literally like the moment i found out you could hire editors i was like what because when because when i was doing youtube it was still kind of like that thing of like oh no the editors uh, youtubers have to edit their own videos that's what makes them youtube videos and and like yeah sometimes that is true but i think i think that's way overplayed i, I that, especially when it was back then um but you know what did mouse say what's what's fucking mouse say i'm serious lol all right <laughs> I'm going to take you to gain traction on YouTube. I mean, you can look at my, my analytics, right? You can go to my social blade. Let's have a look. Let's pull up my social blade. Let's get through it. Let's get through it. I'll talk you guys through it all. Um, so, my, oh, this is my first recorded thing. So I, I was I was doing stuff for about three months before this. But as you can see, like, it's always been somewhat stable. I never really had a big... Uh, jump i mean the only big jump i had was like here but like other than that let me move this well, sorry move this closer like for me if you think about it i've never really blown up um you know and I, you know i don't give a shit it's it's going down like this that's just that, that happens all the time it's not a big deal lol may was not your month uh, uh, i guess so yeah but i mean it's it's like here down now but they also changed it so that it only goes up in intervals of 10 so it flips between like things really easily because like one month you could make forty nine thousand and it would be listed as 40 and then one month after you would make you could get like 60 something so the, the sub doesn't matter but the views are more important so like you can see the views like that and then one time i lost nine million views Ooh. but yeah i remember this is like the, i wish we had it sooner because i m remember that distinctively when i wait no wait, wait, wait we can get more right we can get more we can get more than this we can get more than this Where is this? We can, surely we can get more. Why does it start 400,000? That can't be right. How did you lose 9 million views? I deleted a ton of videos. Well, I lost 11, actually. Technically. Um, but as you can see, I mean, it's, it's pretty stable. Um, that was um, racist month. <laughs> chat shut the fuck up that was when um unfortunately i love everyone i know despite their output and such ways of b plus that was the stuff when um unfortunately way way back uh i was collaborating with an individual and uh it was this whole mess of a situation uh where it turned out i found out like two years later uh that said individual had uh been arrested uh for molestation charges um and so i just decided that i did not want those videos up and i took them all down so uh i lost like at that time that was like one eighth of my channel i took down um it was a lot that i took down but and i was really sad because like <sighs> at that time as well i also I also was I was doing okay but I wasn't making like crazy money and I kind of like gutted a lot of like content that was that had done well over time so I also like remember I I, I distinctly remember I I, uh, I lost money for like the next three months like quite a lot from doing that but I mean I, I still I still think it was the right thing to do a lot of people were like you shouldn't have taken them down because it's 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 not it's not about the work it's the creator blah 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 but I, I didn't I just didn't want them up I just I just wanted it done with you know I didn't want them to be associated with that um, so, yeah. Um, I wish it went back. Why doesn't it go back? That's fucking shit. I mean, that always goes up. Yeah, that, that goes up. It's like a moral ethic too. Yeah, I mean, it's just a personal thing. I, I couldn't, I wouldn't want to look at my channel with that stuff there. And I, I didn't really care what anyone else said, to be honest with you. Um, so that was why. Yeah. Like, what, oh, so, oh, what I'm going to hit stuff. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hit 10 million subs in in three years. What? No, that can't be right. 
What? This, oh, this has always been off. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, that, was, that was a good decision. I think so. I, I, I mean, I, I, yeah. I think it's moments like those that sh show who people really are when you have to make uncomfortable decisions that are inconvenient for you. Um, but I mean, it is what it is, right? Yeah, I get really sad thinking about it, you know. I, I look back at that and I, I, I do hate the situation and I I feel, I, I, I do feel quite regretful that I ever collabed with anyone who was even like that. I don't know. It makes me sad when I think about it. Oh well. Chat gone. Oh, I don't know why it's acting up today. Let me see. Let me get it back right now and then it should be back now when people talk. Right. I don't know. Smoge, I guess so. It's not a big deal, guys. This is working. I'm waiting. I'm looking at it right now, and it's not coming back for some reason. Why is it? oh, no maybe? No. Oh, there we go. Splitting us three years, in November 2017, in order to comply with EU privacy regulations, YouTube has required us to only show data back three years. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that makes sense. You never know with people on the internet. Yeah. Yeah, learned learned a harsh lesson. Um, but that's how that's how it is, man. You know, you gotta gotta move on. Gotta hope that you can learn from things, right? I don't know. Internet's weird. You have to like adapt very fast and stuff like that. And and you have to. I think in some ways I like it because it it forces you to like. YouTube in some ways either and and being online either makes you become a massive piece of shit that hides everything or you have to like <laughs> you have to kind of um, deal with uncomfortable things about yourself that you m might not have liked you know like personality traits or tendencies or baggage that you had from uh, being younger you kind of have to reflect on it a lot more and, and you can kind of grow a lot more if you are uh, if you if you want to but oh, or you can just become a narcissistic asshole and become 1928 <laughs> yeah i don't know what's the worst youtube experience you have definitely that i think that was that that put a that made me really sad i think when you're doing youtube and you like um when you're like having a great time and you're making videos it's all really fun and then like it, it becomes like not a game at some point and that's when it like y y it gets either like mm, some people like that some people don't like it and um yeah it's kind of it's weird it's definitely weird in that situation i, I feel really i don't like it yeah it's really sad thinking about it oh well could you give up your anonymity to get really big i think i have given up my anonymity have i not I don't know. I'm... I think I'm... <laughs> I don't think there's much anonymous about me anymore. I also, like, even if I wanted to be, like, a VTuber or something, or anything like that, I think my voice is too distinct, and everyone, everyone fucking recognizes my voice. So, um, yeah. All right, Mouse sent me a song, and it's called Tears in Welsh. That is by, uh, Lord... Is it by the Lord? Lord men? Lord men? Is that what it is? I'm gonna listen to it. It's called Tears in Welsh. I need you. Oh god. Oh god. No. Yeah. Oh. And why? Why? I need you. No! I need you. No! Why? That's very nice. It's very cute. Vocals are very nice. It's four minutes. Ooh. 
This is a very Cat Jam song, I think. the link a mouse just sent me the file but it's good it's always a pleasure to play with you maps oh it's just nothing i enjoy more in life we had an album that's dropping on the ninth and this is in it damn well, that was very good holy shit that was pretty good yeah i didn't expect that it was gonna be like a meme song that was actually good <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> wow wow that was crazy Oh wow, this is a banger, sorry, banger, sorry, banger, sorry. <laughs> it was a banger, it was a banger, it was a banger, boys. Confirmed banger. All right, there you go. <laughs> that was a very cute song. That was very nice. Although that start, that start made me, made me cringe inside. Not gonna lie. That, that was painful. But everything else, I approve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Bussin'. Bussin. Oh man. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. What else, what else do you guys want to talk about, huh? Anything you guys want to want to talk about? I'm down to I'm, I'm down to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about, you know? Anything you guys want to talk about. I'm down. I'm here for you guys. <laughs> I'm I'm here just to distract time and hopefully uh, uh still be relevant tomorrow. Poggers anime? Very poggers. No more anime. I've now banned anime. Anime is now banned. Hey, I've decided. This is crazy. Oh, man. No more anime? Good. Hey, there, I just wanted to suggest you play Temtem with Mouse. It's a Pokemon like game. It's a great. That's fully two. Play a co-op? Fame. Tim, Tim? What is that? Oh, I think I've heard of this. Why does it have f all five stars and one star reviews? That's... That's scary. That's normally a scary indication. Hey, I just met you. Um... What was I saying? Can we talk about the fuck's sake? Can we talk about 
the free trial of the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV, which includes oh, the award-winning Haven's Ward expansion up to level 60 with no restrictions on playtime. There you go, guys. That's That was the donation. Thank you. I hope that was worth your $2. That was... <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> League predictions? Bro, I want EU to win. I just want EU to win, man. I want my EU boys to get a dub. I want my EUs to get a clean dub. I just need it, bro. My EU boys need it. My EU boys need a dub in their life, man. They've been waiting so goddamn long, you know? I mean... You know, if it's mad, I don't care who it is, bro. I don't care who it is. Just give me, just give me a dub. Mad? I want, I, I mean, I, I was rooting for G2, man. <laughs> Imagine rooting for G2. Couldn't be me, right? Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Pain. Is G2 in? No. So uh, I guess now I'm rooting for anyone in Europe to win. I just want somebody in Europe to win. I believe we can do it. I believe we got a roster. We got some good rosters. I believe, man. I believe. What was that laugh? We were supposed to imitate the Keck W laugh, but I don't know if it was accurate. I don't think it was very accurate. Oh well. I'm also, I think I've decided I'm going to swap my PC for my the Trash Taste Office one. It's much better, and my PC is struggling right now, and so I think I'm just going to swap the PCs, I think. I'm going to just do that. How does the Trash Taste channel do compared to your own channel? It's technically a smaller channel, right? Uh, well, I, yes, but YouTube operates on views, not on subs. Subs don't subs don't mean anything. Um, views are the indication of everything. So if you think of it in that perspective, then Trash Taste is the bigger channel, as it as it gets more views than all of us. Um, so yeah, that should answer your question. God, are you good? So the earthquake on YouTube? Yeah, I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci, man. Uh, do you think as someone who dislikes the look of their face that I should get a mask so I feel comfortable making content or should I go ahead first and just do it? I can tell you with certainty that nobody likes how they look on camera. Nobody. Because we're not used to seeing it. We're used to seeing pictures, but nobody likes how their face looks on camera. Nobody likes how their voice sounds the first time. It's purely something that you get used to. I do. Good for you. I fucking didn't. I do. Most people I know don't. When I started out, I didn't like it, but um, you know, I after after all after a while, I just got used to it. And uh, a voice is the biggest one for most people. And for me, when I first started, I couldn't listen to my own voice. But now, now I now I now I don't mind. Now now I I I like my voice now, right? Okay, but that's just because I do voice acting. It's coming very handy, and uh, I know how to use it. You know, all right? Okay, you know, I'm, I, you know, fuck you guys, right? Fuck fuck you guys, right? Fuck you. Alright? Self-care, man. Self-care. <laughs> Become narcissist. Problem solved. Man, life would just be so easy if you were a narcissist. You just you just think imagine thinking you're amazing at everything. I wish. Connor's voice acting. Well, I mean, it was one of those things where, like, it was even when I was like 15 and I'd play video games online, it was always the thing that people commented on. So I kind of, after a while, I was like, oh, huh, maybe I do have like a nice voice. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But my face was lacking. As, as I was told, I have, I have the voice for radio and the face for radio. <laughs> Sag. Chubby Connor. Yeah, I was also, I, yeah, I mean, I was chubby too. My voice sounds different in a mic. Yeah, your voice will sound different in a mic. Um, it always does. That's why, you know, when you, when you become, uh, when you get better at it and you learn the equipment, you can, you can, I'm gonna yawn. Ah! You can get a, you can get mics and, and setups that, that complement your voice as opposed to just recording it. Like this settings on the mic, you know, my, I, my, my voice sounds nice, right? I'm going to say it sounds okay, right? I know that. But this mic, this mic makes it like very nice. Very nice. Um, it definitely helps. Like if I, I can, can I turn all this shit off that's on the mic right now? Let me see. I don't want to, but I think I can really quickly. 
Um, uh, oh, presets. Here we go. Um, no, profiles. Default. Let's click. Um, I don't know if you guys can still hear me, but. Okay. Well, right now, let me look at the mixer. Oh, I can't put everything to zero. I'm putting all the settings to zero right now so you can hear what my voice sounds like without any compression or equalization. It's not going to sound that much different, to be honest with you guys. Let's turn that off. Let's turn the noise gate off. There you go. That's what my room sounds like with no noise gate. You can hear things. All right, like that. My voice doesn't sound that much different there. I mean, I can hear it, like, vibrating in my... Like, my voice vibrates my skull. And then we put it back. Do I, do I? Oh fuck, I just messed up all my settings. <laughs> fuck. Oh, right, well, let's put that back on. Let me go find my settings. Where did I fucking put them? Oh my god. I had a I had my settings saved and I gotta find them. God damn it. Uh Sage Fire, I know you'll be gone next week, but any more spooky games planned for the month? Fishing Oh yeah, I'll definitely do more more games this month. More spooky games this month. hundred percent. Do not worry about that, fellow gamers. Let me find my settings real quick. I wanna fix it. It's gonna bother me otherwise. I didn't think it would change everything, but it did. So that was down. <laughs> here we are. I have my settings. Ah, perfect. Yeah, here are my settings. Minus three. I think I just got them off YouTube and they just happened to also work with my voice. It's a lot easier to have a voice that complements deep voices like mine. And when you have a higher voice, it's a, it's a lot harder to get the equalization right. When you've just got bass like me, it's, uh, yeah, it's very easy. So very good. And that's all my stream settings. It's back to normal now. And I can turn the noise gate up. Like how to higher or lower and I can fuck with the game and everything and it's really handy to learn that stuff I, I really recommend learning it if you if you uh, want to um, yeah I don't know like yeah I don't know it's strange I don't, I don't know it's uh, a bit more bass yeah I can add and take away bass as well so um so bass is this end. So look, I'm gonna add bass right now, right? This might get like giga bass here, right? Hello. Oh shit. Now I'm just like all bass, right? This is like all bass, but it doesn't sound good. Surprisingly, it doesn't. It doesn't sound good. Who'd have thought, eh? It's like it was. If anyone had like big speakers, I'm sorry. Luckily, Twitch kills the bitrate, so it doesn't sound that good anyway. But yeah, this is like a normal, nice EQ level. <laughs> chill. Yeah, I, I just wanted to do a chill stream today. Nothing crazy. Just talk, just talk, because, you know, we've done it. We've already done a big stream today. And uh, I just had some free time, and I wanted to do another stream, so... Yeah. What software? This is the GoXLR. It's a really powerful tool. It's really good. The GoXLR is like... I think the GoXLR is like a must if you're a streamer now. I, I really do believe that it's... You need it if you want top quality audio. Um, personally, at least. I, I'm a big audio guy, though. A lot of people don't value audio. I mean, you look at Tyler One, and he's using a fucking headset microphone, and he's doing fine, so maybe don't believe me. But I think that it's an extremely good way of upping your uh, stream quality. Obviously, if you want, you can get better audio quality, but it requires a lot more knowledge and uh, a lot more equipment. <laughs> uh, the GoXLR is very beginner friendly. The sound effects come from the stream deck of the GoXLR. The GoXLR, so this is all GoXLR. And this, this is all GoXLR. And, and this too, this is GoXLR. GoXLR, 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 GoXLR. GoXLR, it's all GoXLR. It's all the same. Hey, I just met you. But yeah. 
I'm not going to lie, the reason I stopped watching your content was because your voice made my ears tingle. The subwoofer feeling that your voice gives my ears has about the same effect as ASMR videos do for other people. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. How many frog-sized dogs do you think could fit in a bath? What? I don't know. What kind of question is that? Um, uh, yeah. Well, it's weird, because when I talk at this volume and I talk at this pitch, my voice doesn't vibrate. But when I'm like relaxed and I'm kind of like chilling and I'm kind of like, all right, nice, okay, I'm having a good time. That's like, that's when my voice vibrates my mouth. That, that must sound weird, but my voice, whenever I talk like this, like my whole area is vibrating. So I don't, I don't, yeah. I, I, I must have the natural frequency or something of my skin or something, I don't know. Do you smoke? No, I don't smoke. I've, I've never smoked. Imagine how deep my voice would be if I smoked. Like 50 a day. <laughs> That'd be fucking crazy. That'd be nuts. Maybe, 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 maybe. <laughs> when I, when I want to have uh, more options in my voice acting career, I'll be like, you know what? You know what, lungs? Pack it up. We're going we're gonna to be sounding. We're going to be the, the go-to voice. I mean, for natural voices, it's pretty deep. I mean, you, you can get natural voices, but then, you know, by other ways. Uh, sorry, you can get deeper voices from, like, conditions and stuff. Yeah, like, corpse and stuff, but, yeah. I mean, I, I, it's pretty fucking deep, I think. Omega long. True. Have you ever considered doing ASMR? I, I just, to me, I just feel weird doing it. I don't, I even though I think it could be fun, I, I, I can't wrap my head around it. I don't, no, no, no bashing on it, though. Um, respect to all the creators like Gibby is like one of the fucking like ama most amazing people ever I, I love Gibby uh, what's this um, you should look into getting 70 30 contract churches make sure other people get good contracts protect care of yourself as well I, I wish man I, I wish yeah, no one ever contacted me about a contract for Twitch. I was kind of, yeah. I, I, I heard that people get contacted, but I'd, I'd never been contacted about it, so. I don't know if I should say that. Is that a bad thing to say? Is that, oh, oh. I don't know. Um, Have you done cosplay before? Ah, uh, maybe. I, I mean, I've done some, but not very good, though, as you guys know. Um, Do you watch Orangutan ASMR? What? Oh my god, it's actually an ASMR. Fuck off. What is this? That's some pretty good ASMR. Slap the mic. <laughs> so cursed. It's so creepy how orangutans sometimes look weirdly very human. It's so creepy. I know I know we share a, 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 a lineage, but like it is weird. That orangutan was just sitting there like 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 a man that was done with life. That was I, I yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that the a gorilla is too fine anime yet? No, I haven't actually. I should check that out actually. We good idea. Oh man been good i've enjoyed the stream guys this has been a lot of fun I, I had a good time with you guys today i think i'm gonna probably head off to bed though i got a stream tomorrow morning we're streaming with mouse tomorrow morning as well uh, i don't know what we're doing yet but we're streaming with mouse so uh yeah we'll, we'll definitely got a stream tomorrow and then probably not gonna be a stream for about a week um i'm going away for a bit um and then i'll be back and i'll stream a shit ton i will try to at least i'm gonna try and stream my goddamn heart out when i get back um so yeah no streams for about a week after tomorrow and then we'll, we'll be back and uh, we'll do some streams and i will try to do 
the Pokemon Nuzlocke randomizer either at the end of this month or early next month. All right, that's a promise, guys. It's a promise. All right, we'll do. We'll do. Um, well, I'll, I'll decide which one to do. I'll figure it out. Maybe like Emerald or something. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Let's raid our boy Mudan. He's just started streaming. Perfect. Let's send you guys all his way. Mudan is my editor. He's a great streamer. Uh, please give him a chance. He's very funny. Very charming. And uh, he's a boss, man. He's, a, he's, a, he's an absolute unit. Absolute editing unit. Um, but thank you guys so much. Really do appreciate this stream. I, I, I don't know why, why. I'm the one streaming. Why am I thanking you guys? <laughs> this was a really nice stream. I had a lot of fun. And uh, it is really nice getting to just chill out with you guys sometimes and just chat. And uh, yeah, I think we had a good, uh, really good stream together. And uh, I, I really enjoyed talking with you guys, even if it was just one way. But I do appreciate the input uh, from you guys. And uh, it was nice getting to talk about these topics that we don't really talk about. Uh, back to me being an idiot as normal. And we'll do the occasional chill stream every now and then. But I uh, hope you guys had fun. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll leave you guys to Mudan. So yeah, bye guys. Bye.